all right how's everybody doing today back again with another video for you guys and today guys i'm really excited to bring you guys my first impressions of the zte z max pro wow guys i did it i did it i've been waiting such a long time to get this device in house and finally i was able to get my hands on it um, a family member of mine, Big Sis, shout out to Big Sis, thank you so much for making this video possible, just upgraded her device, and she was like, you know what, bro, I know you've been dying to get your hands on it, why don't you take it, do some reviews on it, and, um, you know, give it back to me, if you want to buy it from me, let me know, but I'm going to let you do some reviews on it, because I've been, I know you've been dying to get it in. And I really have. I've been dying to get it in. I was trying to get it from T-Mobile. Every time I went, they was out of stock. I was trying to get it online. And y'all know the story behind the online adventure. I bought it, and it was shipping out. And then I guess I didn't buy it fast enough because the one that I bought was actually sold out. So they issued me a refund, which I was very sad about because I already went ahead and bought the case and everything. But... I just gave those to my big sis when she got it in hand. And, yeah. Anyways, she wasn't feeling it too much. Decided to upgrade. She upgraded to something else. And that's how I was able to bring it in for you guys. So, you know, I'll, I'll be having this for a little bit. And I either got to decide if I want to give it back to her or buy it from her. So, based on how I feel about it, that's how I'll make that decision. So, I'll probably let you guys know... If I'm giving it back or if I'm buying it from her in the full review. But guys, I am so pumped to finally have this device in-house. Now, as I said, this is my, my first impressions video. Now, granted, this would be an unboxing video, but I didn't get the box from her. I just got the phone, the charger, and the case. I was so excited I couldn't even wait for her to find the box. I was like, oh, you done? Alright. Alright, you sure you done? Alright. And I had stuff to do, so I couldn't I couldn't stick around to see if she could find the box. Anyway, here it is. It's in-house. I'm going to go ahead and put it through my review process. Now, let me go ahead and give you guys my first impressions with the ZTE Z Max Pro. Now, I've been, I've been running around all over the place today. And I finally got to sit down and start setting it up. So... you look here, I'm downloading my apps right there. I don't know how well y'all can see that. It doesn't look too good through this viewfinder. But I'm downloading all my apps to the device right there. And we're going to get it set up and we're going to put it through the review process. But, as I said, I've been playing around with it for a few minutes now. So, first impression time. And, guys, I got to tell you guys, this thing looks i call it a thing i think we might have to nickname this one the thing this thing looks incredible incredible i'm i'm really liking the design of it the brushed edges i'm really liking the design of it the the matte back material fingerprint scanner which has a nice gold trim around it and the 13 megapixel flash, um, 13 megapixel camera with LED flash. I'm so excited, I can't even talk. I'm really liking this thing. It feels great in the hands. The screen is big and beautiful. And got a 5 megapixel camera up front. Yeah. Anyways, anyways, I'm, I'm getting off task. Let's, let's walk around the device and that'll give me a chance to focus. Ah, <sighs> just so excited. Can't even focus. Anyways. So let's start at the bottom. So down at the bottom you have your um, micro USB type C or um, USB type C charging. And I do not remember if, if it supports rapid charging or not. But I'll let you guys know that in my full review. <sighs> then you got your microphone there. This side you got your power button which has a nice texture to it. And you got your volume up and down. So the volume up and down are smooth. And then the power button has a nice texture to it. I like that. That's like modal, modal 
Motorola-esque design right there. That's a really nice touch. And then up top, got our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Another microphone. On this side, we got our um, micro USB card slot and our SIM card slot. You're going to need that pokey tool. Got a bunch of pokey tools on deck, our SIM removal tools on deck. So that wasn't an issue. Up front right here, we got our big 6-inch IPS display. And I got to tell you guys, in just my few minutes of playing around with the device, I'm really liking the 6-inch display. Really liking that. Then we got our 5 megapixel camera up front. We got our speaker grills here for our built-in receiver. Then down at the bottom, we have capacitive light-up keys here. And you can rearrange these, so that's home. Right now, that's recent and that's back. So it's set up in the traditional Android layout there. Flipping it over. Again, we got our 13 megapixel camera with flash and our fingerprint scanner. And down at the bottom, we got our speaker there. Ah, yeah. All right, guys. So that was a quick little walk around. And it's a good thing I decided to do it because that lets me get a little bit focused. Because, you know, I felt myself getting sporadic and just talking about everything all at once. I had to do something to focus up. So, anyways, now let's talk about my first impressions. All in all, um, I would have to say that I'm setting up my apps right now, but the experience has been really smooth, and there's really no lag to it. Now, there is some slowdown because I'm installing a bunch of apps, so there is some slowdown depending on what I'm doing. But all in all, first impressions, guys, out of, out of the box, or <laughs> can't even say out of the box because there was no box with this guy. But first impressions with the device, I'd have to say that I'm really liking it. Really liking it. But I'm reserving final judgments till after I do my full review. But the software seems fluid, even with a lot of apps getting downloaded in the background. I'm really, really liking the 6-inch display on this guy. The fingerprint scanner seems fairly quick. And it was really, really easy to set up. And guys, I gotta tell you, the camera so far I've took a I've taken about uh taken about one snap. But the camera on this guy so far with just the one snap. See, I'm reserving judgment. See, I'm trying to. But so far, I'm really really liking the 13 megapixel camera on this guy. Really liking it. So yeah. So first impressions with the ZTE Z Max Pro are really really good now what I want to do for you guys real quick before I end the video is just give you guys a quick little size comparison because I could not believe it so this is my Moto X Pure Edition and this is the Z Max Pro now I don't usually do size comparisons and if I do reference the sizes of devices I do it in my versus slash comparison videos, but this was just astonishing here. I couldn't believe it. So I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Now, as I've said, the ZTE Z Max Pro has a 6 inch display and it's 1080p, and the Motorola Moto X Pure Edition has a 5.7 inch display and it's quad HD. And man, just look at that size difference. And it may not look like much on camera, guys, but in hand, it definitely shows. As you can see there, the Z Max Pro, slight, it looks slight, but there's a drastic difference here. I don't even think the camera's doing it justice. But you can see, thickness-wise, they're about the same. Now, you can see the Motorola device has that curve. Whereas the Z Max Pro is flat. You can see that right there. But I just had to show you guys the size comparison on camera. Because I took this guy out. And I, and I was like, damn. That is huge. And I had to take the case off my Moto X Pure Edition. Because I just couldn't believe the size there. But the size difference is huge, guys. Huge. But... 
in terms of display, there's like a what a point three difference in display size. So it's crazy. It's crazy. And I just had to show y'all real show y'all that real quick before I wrap up the video because I couldn't believe that. I was almost speechless at the size difference. Cause I'm like, I, you know, I, my my sister was using the device, and I'm like, you know, it doesn't seem that big. It doesn't it doesn't seem that big? She she looked like she was handling it well. Doesn't seem that big, but having these two devices side by side, there's a big size difference, guys. A big size difference. Yeah. Yeah, so I just had to show you guys that real quick. Real quick, guys. So anyways, that has been my first impressions of the ZTE ZMAX Pro. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead now and start my review process for you guys. And I should have this video, this review done for you guys in about a week and a half to two weeks. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to dig into everything. I'm going to take a lot of snaps with the camera. I'm going to really test the battery life. We're going to really try to tax, tax the crap out of it with my daily usage patterns. And my usage patterns are very heavy. <laughs> so we're going to see what happens. We're going to see what type of battery life I can get. And, you know, I'll be back in about a week and a half to two weeks with my full review on this guy for you guys. So you guys stay tuned. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, please help your boy out and give it a thumbs up. That really does help me out. You don't know how much. If you want to see more raw, uncut content like this, please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And make sure you click that little bell icon and wait for the pop-up to appear. This way you'll know you get notified when I post new videos. Don't forget, all links to where I can find this guy at some really good prices will be down in the video description. As well as, <clears throat> as well as links to the case. You already know, links to the to the micro SD card that I have in this guy, 64 gigs. All of that will be down in the video description. So please be sure to check that out. And as always, if you know anyone out there looking for some high quality performance devices and products at some really great prices. Please share with them my channel because I'm doing this for everyone because we all deserve the best. All right, guys. Peace. Whoa, 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 whoa. I almost forgot. This video was recorded using the 16 megapixel camera on the LightDAO 4K action camera. And the audio was also using the built-in mic in the LightDAO 4K action camera. So you guys let me know how the picture looks. You guys let me know how the audio sounds. And now we're out. Everyone have a great day and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.